There is a significant increase in Islamic State ISIS attacks in southern Kurdistan, Iraqi Kurdistan in recent weeks. More than 20 Peshmergas and civilians have been killed in attacks within the last couple of days. The attacks take place in Kirkuk and around. Some villages near the city of Kirkuk have also been targeted. There are rumors that ISIS has cells active in the city center and that they may start staging a new wave of attacks. ISIS went underground in Iraq and Syria following its defeat in Baghus and started reorganizing. They established their bases mostly in the Sunni region of central Iraq. They also set themselves up in areas that are under Turkish occupation, areas they concluded were secure heavens for them. Turkey started supporting and providing weapons, supplies and training for various movements through means of companies like Enka, one of the largest Turkish construction companies, controlled by the Turkish National Intelligence Agency, MIT, movements it could use in Iraq and Libya. This situation has become even more visible after the 2011 crisis in Syria. ISIS has started reorganizing as a network of cells after the defeat in Baghdad, using the advantages presented by Iraqis and Sunni communities. Its relations with Turkey did not end during this period, as some would think. This is due to the fact that there is a remarkable harmony between ISIS and the mentality of the Muslim Brothers, inclined AKP, the Justice and Development Party. We can see this harmony with the Muslim Brothers mentality most strikingly in the occupied areas in Rojava. Turkey has started integrating those in groups of affiliated gangs, no different from ISIS, and assigned them serious responsibilities. Turkey's support for such element is evident. The effort by the Turkish National Intelligence Agency to access these camps and to smuggle people out for recruitment is common knowledge. Unfortunately, the capability of the Rojava Autonomous Administration have not sufficed to prevent these risks. ISIS and Turkey benefit from the lack of sufficient support from the international coalition forces to keep the ISIS members under security and to put them in trial, and from the incapability of the Autonomous Administration. ISIS used this its own advantage and launched a new attack on the weakest link of the chain. This time the attack has not been carried out by hoods but small groups. It's not surprising in this context that the attack have started in southern Kurdistan, targeting areas around Kirkuk. First of all, they observed that the people in southern Kurdistan do not have confidence in the political authority. Secondly, they are aware of the difficulties faced by the political authorities who is in close relations with Turkey and acting like an administrative unit of Turkey. It's the Kurdistan Democratic Party and the Patriotic Union of Kurdistan who have got to see before anyone else that these attacks so encouraging for ISIS are the consequences of their own weaknesses.